Welcome to DIY Man. On today's episode, we're going to be building this dresser. Or maybe it's a chest of drawers. Whatever the case, I'm not sure what this is, but we're going to be building this piece of furniture out of shipping crates. I'm going to show you how to build this step by step today, and be sure to stick around to the end so you can see this piece finish. Let's get going. <laughs> For today's build, I'll throw the material list in the description below. The first thing we'll do for this project is to cut up some 1x2s. We'll be using these to make the face and the frame for this piece of furniture. We're going to need 6 at 45 and a half inches, 2 at 17 inches, and 4 at 13. Now we need some 1x3s. Here we've got two at 17 inches and one at 13. On all these boards we just cut out, except the six 45 and a half inch one by twos, let's put two pocket holes on each side. Let's start putting the face together. Let's put two 45 and a half inch one by twos on the left and right side. Then we'll put a 13 inch one by two on the top and a 13 inch one by three on the bottom. Then we'll evenly space those last three one by twos in the middle. The gap on those should be nine and a quarter between each board. Next, let's put together one of the sides. Once again, we're using the 45 and a half inch 1x2s on the sides. Then, we're using a 1x2 that's 17 inches long on top and a 1x3 that's 17 inches on the bottom. The left and right sides of this piece are identical, so let's assemble this side the same way. Once these three pieces are assembled, I'll go ahead and give it a little sanding before I move on. Now that that's complete, I'll use some wood glue and some finishing nails to attach the face to the front of those two sides. Okay, now that that's done, let's go ahead and cut up some half inch plywood. Let's cut two pieces that are 19 and a half inches wide and 43 and a half inches long. We also need one piece for the bottom that's 19 and a half by 14 and a half. These are going to be the two sides and the bottom. But I want my sides to have a shiplap look, so let's cut some quarter inch utility panel up into six inch strips. We're going to need at least four of these eight foot strips. That's because we need to cut 14 that are 19 and a half inches long. Now we've got seven of these for each side. All right, let's attach these to those two big pieces of plywood. I'll just leave a quarter inch gap between each one of them. I don't know if you remember, but I used the same technique on the kitchen island I built last year. One of the subscribers to this channel suggested that I put these panels on before I assemble it, and it made all the difference in the world. This is much faster. Now let's just do a little bit of sanding real quick before we assemble this thing. I'm just using wood glue and finishing nails to attach these to the two sides. 
we do want to make sure that they're flush with the top. That'll give us a nice spot on the bottom there to attach that bottom board. Since I have a bunch of half inch plywood laying around, I'll cut out a piece for the back that's 45 and a half inches long and 14 and a half inches wide. This is gonna make a perfect backing. Now, let's cut out some 12 inch edge glue lumber. We need two pieces that are 17 inches. Let's rip one of these down to nine and a quarter inches wide. If you're using one by 12s instead of edge glue lumber, rip it down to 10 inches. Because I'm impatient, I'm gonna use wood glue and pocket screws to put these two boards together. This little piece of wood is gonna be our top. Let's attach that using wood glue and finishing nails. It should overlap on the front, left, and right sides a half of an inch. Now it's time to install our 18 inch drawer slides and our crates we're gonna be using for the drawers. I just used a square to make sure I installed these at the perfect 90 degree angle. This is kind of your choice, but I decided to have my drawer slides mount to the top of the crates. They kind of look like they're hanging baskets that way. If you need plans for these specific crates that fit this piece of furniture, I'll throw that link in the description for you. I installed the first crate with the dresser laying on its side. That way I'd know exactly where to mount the rest of them so I get a quarter inch gap on top and a quarter inch gap on the bottom of these crates. Now we can slap these on the crates and we can slide them right in. I just love how these crates look right now. They work great for drawers. Don't forget to do your due diligence before you finish your furniture. Let's stain the top with a provincial stain from Minwax. Now for just a little bit of white oil-based paint. I started using polycrylic instead of polyurethane anytime I needed a clear coat on my wood. It just has a much more natural finish to it. Now our dresser thingy is done. This is a really cool piece and it has a lot of character. This cool piece could also be used for storage in just about any part of the house too. And we use crates, I just can't get over that. If you enjoyed today's build, please smash like for me. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because only cool people like hitting that I believe button.